Hey guys, Dirk here again. I got another quick review. Well, I don't know how quick this one will be. We'll try and get through it. Um, pretty interesting pack though. I got a new hunting pack and I didn't think I really needed one. And I probably didn't need one, but I have this Camelback. I'm not sure what model it is, but I've been using for a long time. Uh, it's an internal frame backpack, uh, Camelback Commander. That's kind of funny because this is a Commander as well. Anyway, uh, internal frame, good size pack. It's got some straps on the bottom. I used to put my sleep system on here. Uh, anyway, no, no issues with the pack. Uh, I just had some ideas come up and like the idea of this one. I actually was thinking about building one. Uh, Mike from MCQ Bushcraft has a external frame pack. I believe it's the Swedish um, kind of the word I'm looking for army surplus pack uh, they have new ones that they sell on eBay and he got one of those and I do leather work and some canvas work and I thought hey maybe I should get a external frame because of the benefits he was talking about and then build a pack for it and I just don't have time for it honestly I would like to but I just don't so I when I was looking for the frame they have just this frame system but then for only a hundred dollars they have the whole entire pack system and after looking at it it was pretty cool so i thought i would give it a shot um, i'm going to pull out the manual here real quick just because i want to make sure i don't miss anything that isn't imp is important so it's nylon ripstop uh, i'll show you in a minute it has a rifle holder top loading uh, two side pockets the front and a spotting scope pocket on the side uh, spin drift collar with draw cord hydration pocket and port in the top which we'll get to in a second frame and lashing um, we'll show that here in a minute too hold open frame is another cool thing uh, the internal horizontal divider webbing loops for latch lashing and then the clevis pin attachment it is a pretty good size pack uh, 5250 inches 86 liters um, it weighs two pounds, three ounces, and then the frame itself is five pounds, two ounces. So when you're carrying everything, you're gonna be seven pounds, five ounces. Uh, it's, it's distributed really good and it's really adjustable, so it doesn't feel that heavy, honestly, at all. So I'm, I've been impressed with that part. Um, it does come with a QR sticker, and this has a link to a video, and I'll link that in this video. Uh, they have a pretty good video on how to set it up, but I figured I'd kind of show how somebody who no experience with it uh, gets it set up. So we'll go from there. Goofy because the pack is not properly attached to the frame. So that's how it ships. This is really adjustable and it's done so by these clevis pins, which I've seen people complain about and I can already kind of see why they complain, uh, but I'll go ahead and show you. So I'll show this other one uh, and then I'll show you this clip just to kind of give you an idea of why they're kind of a pain. So these clips have to get to turn that and again it's kind of like something on your key ring and then this pin comes out and then we'll go ahead and put it back in and I'll show the pins close up when I do the big swap here in a second. But for now I'm just going to show you what the webbing strap looks like. Okay, so that that now that's how it ships. So then the pack comes off because this is two separate systems essentially that go together. So take that off, and that leaves us with the frame. And this I like the idea of because if you're into bushcraft or something like that, you can take that frame off or the pack off once you get to camp and use this for going out gathering wood, materials, things like that. If you're hunting, obviously what it's designed for is you can you know, dress out your game and load it up on the pack itself. So it's, it's a meat pack and your backpack in one shot. So I just kind of like that concept. These straps come out to adjust the tension on that lower shelf 
and again it's adjustable and removable you can take that off if you want if you know you're not going to use it you want to save some weight you could take this shelf completely off it, that's what I like is all these pins even though these rings are kind of goofy on the back I, I'm pretty sure I can find a better solution for those um, the idea behind it is, is good I like that part so it comes with a full system of straps right here to wrap around your game once it's on or wrap around your cargo and they're all adjustable the sides are all adjustable and this is part of the back webbing so the main thing is just these things on the side and it actually comes with another package of straps and the reason these are good is again if you're just going around these are kind of small right now and they didn't put your extra webbing in there to get all tangled up so these are designed to go here and now you can load this up like I said whether it's wood or whether it's deer elk whatever you're gonna do with it um, that cargo management now becomes pretty nice these can all strap together still got a good distribution and then there's one more for the back for the bottom so I just kind of like I like that concept quite a bit and I gotta look and see if it's on the pack or on the frame before I say anything for it it also has a management system for your rifle and that is on the pack itself so this is the spotting scope pocket it's talking about it's made for a small scope to slide down in there these have a nice just a quick stretchable pair like a paracord type hookup that go on there and that is it the nice thing again even though we got these kind of hokey clips um, you can use this to widen the shoulders out if you've got wider shoulders or if you've got narrow shoulders you can also adjust this up and down a couple pegs depending on your height as well so there's it, it's it's pretty versatile I like it all right so now for the other part of it um, oh one other thing I do like on the right hand side on the belt this is designed for a clip style holster to go in so if you want a handgun on the waist belt you can put it there it's got two pockets let's see if they put one on the left side for you southpaws and they did so whether you carry that gun left or right cross draw might be interesting with a pouch it's kind of way back on your back so probably not a good setup for cross draw maybe but um you got little pouches on each side and then the clip for your gun which is just nice pretty padded strap and it's got a plastic reinforcement all the way through it so it'll be good for taking that weight off of your back. All right, so now for the pack part of it. And in order to do that, we need to take this piece off. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over so we can get to all these clips. And I guess I'll decide whether to leave this in real time or not, depending on how long it takes to pull all these pins out again clevis pins for the win but the design of it the fact that it can be the two two packs in one um I, that's why i was so interested in it um again the benefits of having that pack and the usability of having the frame separate from the pack is just nice yet still having the option of that external pack I know when I first started backpacking external frames look so old and just they didn't look appealing so I've been stuck on having to have an internal frame pack ever since but 
after just the short video I watched with Mike switching videos or about switching packs from what he was using to an external frame uh, the idea of in the summer the pack being off your back a little bit and and making it so it's not sweaty is nice and then also the added benefit of being able to use it as a cargo without messing up your pack is nice as well and there's some times uh, recently that I've been camping where it would have been nice to be able to drop the pack off at camp and then use just the frame to go out and carry some stuff back that we were searching for so now this one is kind of a pain it's kind of why I wanted to show this because the webbing for your back is there and you've got to get this little metal clip to start circling around to get it out to take this management strap off finally got it so that's one side uh, the only one I left in was this pin which I'm gonna go ahead and take it out I just have to remember to put it on that's for the shelf So now maybe with that off, you can see um, why this is a. I'm gonna I'm gonna look on Amazon actually and see if I can find something that would hold these on better. Or I mean these hold them fine, but as you can see, they're just kind of tedious to get off. Maybe with some practice they wouldn't be as bad, but I, I just don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure about those. I'm liking uh, everything else, but this I'm just not, not real happy about. That one is actually bent a little bit, so it may give us some grief. This one. Put that over this way. Tell you what, once I get the pack on there, I'm not taking it off until I need to again. They do send a couple extra pins, so I can go to the hardware store, see if I can find something different. And then, so I'll look on Amazon, maybe see if I can find something, put a link to it in an update video so that Maybe you can order it when you order the pack and just have it and be done with it. So that's the thing you want to keep track of. Okay. Really don't want to detract from this pack by making this out to be more of a big deal than it is. But I, like I said, I do love, there's features on this pack I really like, but not too impressed with this part so now this part comes off that's your straps and it comes with a couple extra of those pins in case you do drop them uh, put them somewhere else that's just a twisty tie you don't want them rattling around um, I will try and show you a close-up real quick of what I'm dealing with with these pins and then we'll get the thing started again So this is our pin here and you can see get the focus here. So we've got this and this. That's what I've been fighting. And so once it's on, you've got to get it started and then go around until you get to the end of it. And see again I, I switched it around backwards
boy. See, this is, like I said, um, the one that's bent in is not always the easiest to get to, but see, then you got to run it around, run it around to there. And then you can just continue and you end up taking it back off. So I just, I don't know. Alps Outdoors, I, I like everything, but I'm not sure about this. All right, so now we'll put the backpack part on. All right, so now I've given you a close-up um, look at those. Now we're just going to, it, it's pretty simple. The design is, is great because of its simplicity. Um, I'm going to try and show this. So i got to get a better camera set up. But for now, this is where we're at. All right. I think I want this in its highest spot, and you do. So all the way up in the top raya, top ring, we're gonna go ahead and put the one pin in, and y'all can watch me fight this thing. Okay. And then the next one, we don't have anything special with it either. So the top two are just the pin itself. I did notice that that ring that's bent out may be made to get them off. And then the one that's flat is probably easier to get them on. That's kind of the trick. I will show that here in a second. Because I think that may make life easier. So, uh, another thing to bear in mind. Maybe the second one I needed. It is. I lied. So your top one, you're going to want, is all on its own. The second one, no, that is not true. Okay, top two go together. That's all there is to it. This is why they uh, put a link to their instructional video. So, evidently they do not include two extra pins because those might be for something else. Let's stand this up. See if it proceeds to make a liar out of me one more time. So it has a removable feature on it. And it is involved with that second pin. And I actually like the idea behind the feature. So I don't want to no, it's got to be. Okay. All right. Yeah, they don't give you two extra pins. So it has this extra feature on it, which is this bar sticking out of the side. I'm going to put these in now so we can see them. But you put a pin through there. So that first pin is going to be there. That's our first, our topmost bag. And then our next one's going to go there. And then just down below that, there's another hole for a pin. And you put the bar in there. That's what those two extras are for. So that little bar, it's called a hold open bar, sticking out of the back of the pack. That's what those two additional pins are for. And that's, that's a pretty cool feature that I do want to, to try out. So. Um, I got to do this one behind the webbing again, so you guys aren't going to see it, but you know what I'm dealing with because uh, I've showed you those blasted rings already. All this work for a backpack 
Should come with a label, some assembly required. And again, these these have uh, two pins, two ends on them, and the one is kind of bent in like that. You can see it goes in from the ring, so that's easier to get off. So if you slide your ring or your pin over you can kind of grab that one and then move it behind and then that makes it where you can take it off and it misses it if you put it on on that one it's actually easy to go around and, and mess it up and you come back off of it so putting it back on the one that's bent in or that's flat with the ring still if you just open it up a little bit get your pin started then it, when it comes back around, it naturally wants to go back through the hole. And then when it gets to that one, it stops. So bent in one for taking off and flat one for putting them back on. So now that I've done that three times, we'll take it off and use this in the last pin I need on the pack. All right. So I'll go ahead and finish putting this together. We'll do a brief overview of what's inside it. And then I'm not gonna load it up on this video. We'll do another video and move everything over from my old pack to my new one. So let's go ahead. Again, we'll use the Okay, roll that around, we're good to go. Okay, so now we're all pinned together. I did the optional, which is the hold open bar. For now, close this so it's out of our way. Stand it up, and again, good thing we're learning together end to hold the pack you need to put the one that holds the shelf on as well I guess we learn together and then you don't have to make the same mistake I did so there was some good reviews on this pack hey what you doing you think you need to help there were some really good reviews on this pack but um, the ones that reviewed it well said that they didn't like these pins either and I see why now anyway I'm sure you've heard enough about the pins so this is what we've got uh, this shelf again you can tighten these up and it gets it up out of the way uh, or you can unclip them and it opens it down out of your way uh, for now, let's kind of leave it like that so it's out of our way. So you've got this nice flap that comes over the top. And it has a pouch in it right here. Um, these appear to be, they are, uh, self-healing zippers. It's got some nice straps right here some clips for webbing if you want to put something in so you can or even tie something on with paracord and I like this setup because you can just kind of throw it open um, Dave Canterbury talks about having that 10 gallon trash can or 5 gallon trash can kind of pack which I, I kind of see the benefit to that and I'll have to show Try and show how this goes on. I believe in the out the video that they put out. Um, I believe it shows you which pin to put these on. And I should have known because I remember it stating that you got two extra pins, and you do get two extra pins.
So this hold open feature, like I said, I want to try it out. It's kind of cool. But unfortunately, I have failed once again. Okay, so it does come with two extra pins. These are definitely extras to have in case you lose one. Now, I do remember this now after seeing it. Right under the back webbing, there are uh, two pins that are already in the frame, but they're not attached to anything. And that is where that hold open bar needs to go. And I've referred to it as a hold open bar numerous times now and never showed what it does. Hopefully you figured out it holds the pack open. Anyway, so after you have that in place, then the webbing can kind of go up. And that webbing is adjustable up and down based on your height and where you want it to set on your back and things like that. That is, hopefully I haven't come across like I'm just complaining about these pins. I'm super excited about this pack and the, everything about it, I, I, I don't, I discount these pins just because it seems like a missed opportunity. But everything else, the, the adjustability of the pack, I mean, I'm 6'3", I'm built really weird. So, I mean, just in the store when I was messing around with the frame part alone, I was able to just adjust a couple things and make it fit really nice. So, as soon as I saw that, I was like, well, whoever designed this, they've got a good idea of what's going on, and I just don't understand why they did this, so... Anyway, now this hold open should work properly. So again, big flap opens up. This is your top part with the drawstring on it so that you can make that uh, tighter if you'd like. Uh, this right here is a good opportunity. I will probably uh, remove this. And the trick on this is to tie a piece of paracord on this and then pull the paracord back through with this and it's easy to just swap this out with paracord. So I'd probably put paracord in that. Uh, the thing that you're using that hold open bar for is the other part of that bar sticks through right here. And so it actually holds the pack open so you can get down in it, which with this main body being so big, it's nice to just have that kind of out of the way. Now, you could end up uh, maybe being able to fit bigger items down through there by having that off. So that's kind of an option for, for you guys. Um, the way to take it out is just to unpin it. And then this part is stitched, but you can feed it through. Uh, there's holes in the pack. You can just feed it through to take it completely out. So if you don't want to use that, you don't have to. But uh, I'm going to try it with it for this first couple trips and, and see what happens. So this is a clip here for your bladder. So you can put your camel back or whatever bladder you have, drop that in there. This will hold the top up and where it needs to be. And then it does have the whole, it's got a feed on either side. So whether you want that to come over your left or right shoulder, you can feed the hose out right there. So again, they thought of that great feature. Now with the, I call this kind of like a rain hood. It covers everything when you put it on, which is nice. So, but you've got a pouch here on the outside, which is great. Uh, oh, <laughs> my other review coming up later. Uh, I'm going to test out these Mora knives, but for now we'll put those out of the way. 
Uh, I'm planning on putting my first aid kit in this pouch uh, just so it's there. I usually have first aid and a few uh, trail type food that's right there, easy to get to. Uh, it does have these other hooks, loops on it that you can use to trap stuff down. The other thing it does have, this side is the other one that's I guess designed more for the bigger spotting scopes. So it's got this really tall wide pouch so if you've got your spotting scope with like the neoprene sleeve on it to protect it because this is just the nylon it's not padded or anything but it's a full length pocket so if you've got uh, a scope or if you don't then uh, you could use that for anything else it's just a nice full length pocket there then we get down to the bottom and right now this is compressed down that's the other nice thing. This has compression straps all over. So the pack was split. I couldn't reach all the way down it. Hey Guinness, you gonna come help me again? Um, but it does have a false, another bottom in it. Here's another way. Um, again, you can replace these with paracord if you want. Just remember the easy way is tie it to the old one, pull it through, and then you can reuse the clip. But this actually can be used as well. So you've got the bottom pouch, which I believe is about half the size of the top one. So you can then, and they, they meet together, so you can unhook them and then you have it all. But this is nice if you put your, I, I've always on my other packs put my sleeping bag and stuff in here and then it's easy to get out right when you get to camp without unpacking everything out of the top of your pack but yet i do want my easy stuff to get in the top of my pack so that i can get to it when i want but sometimes you get to camp the first thing you need to get out is your sleep system so if you have that in the bottom it's easy to get to and you can grab that out and go from there and then you could also use it as two separate compartments and have something small right here so i think i'll have my sleeping bag inside and then I'm going to set my tarp and uh, my bivy right here and my cordage right there because that's what I usually need to set up first. Get it out, get some cover if it's raining so I can get my pack out, and then I'm good to go. So now, on to, oh, the other thing this can do, if you loosen up those straps, you can pull this completely underneath so then it's out of the way. Anyway that is the main part of the pack the one thing i did not show yet though these are those two pins which are definitely extra we're going to go ahead and put them in this top pocket so we've got three small pockets here or two small pockets on the side which uh yeah kind of impressive but nothing major until you realize there's these all these clips on the side and there is also, let me close this down. There's also um, padding on here. Well, the reason being is if you haven't seen this pack or figured it out yet, there's a pouch right here that you can push open from the bottom. This drops out and this is to hold the buttstock of your rifle. So you can put your rifle buttstock in here you can then adjust this strap for the height you want it sets nice right here and then you can strap these on the side now obviously you're not going to be able to quickly undo that for a fast shot that's not what i plan on using it for what i want it for is the fact that i want to be able to pack in and i'm usually not hunting while i'm packing in uh, and so i will put my rifle on the side holds it out of the way i don't have to carry it and it just makes it where it's nice and easy to get to but yet it is still uh protected right there uh, don't have to hold it carry it around worry about dropping it things like that and then if you're not using that they've made it really nice this has got like a double bevel or double stitch in it so you can just push this right back up in here and you're good to go. So 
that's the overview of the pack. I like the size. It's it's big. Uh, you, you've got a lot of options there. And it's just a nice setup. I'm going to probably load it out for hunting. Not so much for an overnight. Uh, and kind of see what I can do. Uh, for deer, actually, I probably will be doing an overnight. So maybe I will show what it's loaded up for an overnight. Or two overnights for. And kind of show from there what I've got and get it set up so if you've got any questions on the pack uh, feel free to put them in the comments you can also check out my website I'll probably have a thread specifically for this pack on my blog um, just because I do like a lot of the features on it I am going to find a better way for these clips um, but other than that, that really is the only complaint I have. It's a really durable fabric. Uh, I can tell from this, and there's a lot of guys that have had it out in the bush, and they've, they've said that they've got it on some snags and nasty stuff, and it hasn't torn. So it will definitely hold up. Uh, we'll do some field testing. I'm probably going to swap all these out with paracord. That's just a given. Um, but other than that, there's not a whole lot about it that I don't like. It's a nice pack. So uh, we'll find out something to do with the clips and work on everything else from there. Uh, again, any questions, comments, let me know in the uh, space below. And I'll put links to everything that I can find for it on Amazon. And until we uh, get to see it in action, I will let you guys go and have a good one.